I'd like to begin by introducing you to this man right here, Jeremy Bentham. <laughs> For those of you who have never seen this embalmed, yes, embalmed philosopher before, let me familiarize you. Jeremy Bentham was born in 1782 and died in 1848 and, at his request, was then preserved and placed in a glass case in a university center in London, where unknowing passerbys could be greeted by his comforting face. <laughs> which is wax, by the way, because it was stolen in 2017, which may beg the question of who wanted it and why, but nonetheless, Bentham was a British philosopher who is known as the father of modern utilitarianism. In its most classic definition, Utilitarianism is the view and philosophy that one will do whatever will bring about the greatest amount of pleasure and minimize for the least amount of pain. However, the reason I want to bring this up, besides the fun embalming story, is because he and other classical utilitarians, like John Stuart Mill, not embalmed, were heavily concerned with legal and social reform. These philosophies are the basis of our Constitution and many other, and utilitarianism is just an example of one of them. This man created many ideas and flooded the idea of law. However, with technology today and the political climate, morality has become a lot more complicated. Political polarization has led to a situation where people can no longer think of each other as political adversaries, but as moral enemies. It's become very difficult to distinguish between a person and their political view. It becomes easy to demonize those with whom we disagree and to completely get rid of their decisions. These ideas of free thinking and independence are ones that our country is based off of and have brought upon incredible things like innovation and technological advancement, which both are incredible. I'm not bashing either. I'm a big fan of my phone. However, it's also become a lot more difficult to decide what is ethically and morally correct. Social media has made our lives so much easier, and I know personally. One of the greatest examples of this is Instagram and our current Instagram infographics. I specifically remember one in September of 2020 that was spread around, and it compared the death toll of Uyghur Muslims in Chinese internment camps to that of the Holocaust. However, it was found entirely fake and completely based off of the subjective truth. Things like these are getting more and more common. How many of you have personally been raised through technology, from the videos that you've seen and YouTube that you've watched and everything else? As a 17-year-old today, I can tell you that my entire childhood was based in technology. From the music I listened to, to the learning platforms that my school used. This has made it so much more difficult to distinguish between what is right and wrong. And now we have to think about things like AI, which is best exemplified by this short little story. In August of 2019, Stephen Thaler filled out a patent attempting to patent a new device with the inventor naming Davis an AI system he created. But intellectual property of Australia didn't like that and rejected his patent. And then he tried some other places. He went to the European Patent Office, where it was rejected. He moved on to the United Kingdom Office of Intellectual Property, and it was rejected again. So he went across the pond to the United States the Trademarking and Patenting Office, where it was refused. So he filled out a complaint calling the decision arbitrary and against the law. And after a month, it was refused again. <laughs> so he tried New Zealand, closer to home, and it was refused. Because apparently only a natural person can be called a inventor. With that, he took one more chance in South Africa. And on the 24th of June, 2021, South Africa became the first country to ever have an AI be claimed as an inventor. This is insane. I mean, it calls into question not just the decisions of governments across the world, but also the very definition of a natural person itself.
And now, you have to worry about some other things, like robots. People, are, it's pretty far in the future, but people are incredibly concerned with the idea of a robot taking their job. And it's made life a lot harder. But if an AI, and well, AI and robots are not exactly the same, AI is in theory free thinking, while a robot is more of a physical piece of technology. If an AI can be patented as an inventor, then how about a robot? Exercises like these are what make us think about our morality and continue to grow. Technological advancement throughout the past few years and specifically the centuries have increased at a rapid pace and our morality has had to change with it. It has made our lives both a lot easier and a lot more challenging. However, it is up to us to be morally conscious and to take our decisions into account when thinking about things like the future of technology. It is your decisions that you make today and the ones that you will make tomorrow that will impact you and the people around you for the rest of time. We must be able to distinguish between humanity and their political opinion and technology and how it impacts us and how we can impact it. Thank you.